And nine news now. We are in the kitchen with Chef Mike Harris. You know, perfect time right now to think about Sunday brunch, and he's got some delicious Sunday breakfast ideas. They're quick and they're easy, and he's ready to go. We're Smile. back in a moment. You're on TV. <laughs> We love Sunday, and we love Sunday brunch. And Chef Mike Harris is here to give us something pretty quick and simple to prepare this Sunday for your morning breakfast or brunch. It's getting a little bit late, so we'll call it brunch. Mm. You have got a shrimp creole omelet. Yes, correct. And a cheddar cheese grit gratin. Yeah. And don't right. forget about the Bloody Mary aioli. Oh, uh, how could I forget? <laughs> okay, so let's get started uh, with, the, first of all, the, uh, the creole shrimp. Yeah, definitely. Um, what you want to do is you want to first start with your, your shrimp. Uh, what I did was I cut it up already and already uh, blackened it with uh, Cajun spice. And then I have my eggs. I mix that up. I'm going to start with my omelet. I'm going to pour my eggs into the pan. Is that just eggs? It looks like there might be a little oil in there? Uh, yeah, with some Pam. Okay. Just a little bit of Pam. I'm going to get that started. Low fat. And the, the secret with omelets is just to make sure you move your pan slightly and just coat the bottom of the pan still. Okay, keep it moving there. Yeah. Now, what about the shrimp? Do you always want to have it cooked before you yes, put definitely. it in the pan? Yes, you definitely. You okay. definitely do. You don't want to eat raw shrimp. That's not, All right. It's not okay. too good unless you're eating a ceviche. Yeah. Now, let's, let's go ahead and cook it. So you just sauteed your, yeah. um, your shrimp uh, beforehand, and mm -hmm. now you've got the eggs going. And then once it's like that, you want it a little bit runny. Okay. Right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over like so. He makes it look so easy. And then I'm going to add my shrimp. Okay, shrimp right. goes right there in the middle. So I'm going to pop this up a little bit, add my shrimp to it, and I'm going to put this on a plate over here. Over here. And that's all? No cheese and... Oh, uh, no. Okay. See, I have cheese with the grits, way. so I don't want to put too, many, too much cheese on it. Okay. Most people think you got to have it for an omelet, but I guess you don't. So there goes your omelet on the plate. Right. So we leave Very that Very nice. Here. And next okay. we're going to start with our, our grits. Okay. Right? So what I have right here is I have uh, the hot pot, so I'm going to add my grits to that. And, uh, and just follow I, the recipe, I guess, on, on the box. Definitely. Uh, yeah, this is instant grits. So I didn't do how many grits. Okay. Then I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce to that. Just right? what, a little teaspoon yeah. it looks like? You add so. all that to it. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have this right here. All right. So right? you have the, the water, the grits. You have a little bit of the uh, sauce. And, and now, cheese. And, and cheese. And cream. Right? Okay. And once you get to this, you just want to mix it up a little bit. And then you want to add a little bit of your sausage to the bottom of this. Okay. This will be your serving dish? Yes. And you want to put it in the bottom. A little surprise there yeah. in the bottom. And just mash it down like so. So you have sausage at the bottom, you have sausage in the middle, and then you want to put cheese on the top. Oh, that looks delicious. And you want to put this in the oven for about uh, a preheated oven, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, in the oven we go. And then while this is cooking, I'm going to make my aioli, my oh, Bloody Mary aioli. Oh, I keep forgetting aioli. we have the Bloody yeah, Marys. Yeah, All so right, let's whip that up real quick. Yeah, definitely. So what you want to do is you want to add your tomato sauce, actually uh, mayonnaise, and then you want to add some uh, tomato paste. Isn't that secret sauce a uh, Thousand Island dressing or something like that? Uh, this is more than, <laughs> once you put the vodka, it's more than a Thousand Islands. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, you want to add your vodka to it. Nice little pick-me-up for the morning. That is an interesting way to make a Bloody Mary, my friend. All right, a little cayenne pepper. Spice it up. Yep. Looks more like a uh, Bloody Mary milkshake at this point. <laughs> Now, this is going to be a sauce? Yes, this is going to be a sauce for the plate. Okay. And this is not a cooked ingredient, right? No, not at all. All so this is just mayonnaise. So it will have the alcohol in it when you serve it? Yes, you will. All right. This goes with your mimosa for oh, yeah, an exactly. adult brunch today. All right. Well, we'll let you put it all together. We're going to come okay. back for a taste of it. You are Chef Mike Harris. And um, 
we're going to have all of this on our website. So if you need the recipe, just go to WUSA9.com and click on Info to Go. It'll all be right there for you, all the ingredients and how to put this together. Very quick and simple. Kim's got a look at your seven-day coming up. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us. The recipe of the day is the Creole Shrimp Omelette with um, the gratin. This is the cheese grit. And you can have the first taste if you'd like. Okay. I'll taste it with you. Yeah. It has... Uh, Mike, help us out. The sauce is the Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary aioli sauce. All right. Mm -hmm. You didn't dip into the sauce. I'm a, a Jersey girl that has fallen in love with grits. <laughs> Let me tell you that much. Has a little bit you. of uh, vodka in it. Oh, no worries. I'm a teetotaler, mm. but I don't mind alcohol in my food. <laughs> mm. That really is delicious. Well, thank you. The shrimp is delicious in there. Is so. this mm. uh, recipe going to be on our website? Mm -hmm. Good. WUSA9.com. Sure okay. I'll taste the grits right after I say goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great <laughs> Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll be back. Bye-bye.